In this video, we're gonna be looking at a few softwares, tools and tweaks to fix Windows 11's appearance and add super helpful features. So let's get started. Before we start, I do wanna let you know that all the links mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. Alright, so we're gonna start off this video by changing the start menu and the taskbar which is what a lot of people hate. The best option available to change it is using a simple tool called Start Go Back. It's got a lot of features like turning your start menu into a Windows 7 or 10 like menu but with a Windows 11 modern feel to it. It's got its own search engine instead of the enormous search engine of Windows 10 but with slight appearance and changes to fit the Windows 11 glossy theme. The taskbar can be turned into a dock which makes the taskbar look better and free up space that is otherwise unnecessarily used by the entire bar. You can even change the corner icons where Microsoft has grouped the volume, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and the rest into one single button which is kinda annoying cause it takes more time to get the job done. Start all back can help in separating all these functions into separate buttons just like in Windows 10. But we're not done here cause you can make File Explorer look like the Windows 10 or 7 layouts with Ribbon UI and bring back the old right click menu instead of the new modern one which doesn't show third party extensions like WinRare. Plus you can move your taskbar around the screen. I've made a detailed video on how to use Start All Back, check it out from the link down below. Another similar software to Start All Back is Start 11 by Stardock which has similar features to Start All Back with additional features that can be handy. They have a Windows 10 style star menu and a star menu that kinda looks like Windows 7 but with a modern feel to it. You have heavy customization options with all kinds of stuff that you can do. Sadly though, both Start All Back and Start 11 are paid softwares, but each of them goes for a one-time payment of 5-6 to six bucks, which in comparison to all the amazing features both softwares have, is a pretty good deal and is worth buying. Another thing I want to mention about Start All Back is that after the 30-day free trial, you can continue using it without problems, but the Star Mini will display a sad face watermark. Right now there aren't software similar to the two I've mentioned but you can use OpenShell which is a start menu replacement but only opens when you hit the start key or another software called Explorer Patcher which can completely bring back the Windows 10 taskbar. There are simple and free tweaks that Microsoft has offered us in Windows settings where you can left align all the taskbar icons plus if you want the old right click menu and want to make it match the acrylic look of Windows 11 you can use a simple CMD script made by a GitHub user. I've made two separate videos on them, the links are in the description down below. If you like this taskbar doc look from Start All Back, there's a free software called Rounded TV which does exactly that in a dynamic mode but with additional customizability like changing the corner radius and applying the dock to the corner icons. It supports another software called Translucent TV made by the same creator which focuses on changing the appearance of the taskbar by making it blur, acrylic or a solid color. A more suitable alternative to Translucent TV is Taskbar XI where you can modify the appearance and the behavior of your taskbar. One thing that Windows 11 is missing which many people like is live tiles that date back to Windows 8 but were removed by Microsoft in Windows 11. Fortunately, a GitHub user has created a tool where you can add live tiles wherever you want. Put them in the start menu or the taskbar, it just doesn't matter. Now are you one of those who hate the rounded window corners of Windows 11? If you are, then meet Windows 11 Disable or Restore Rounded Corners, which does exactly what the name says. I've already made a separate video on how to execute the software, the link is in the description. One disclaimer though is that doing so can be a security risk because the process consists of modifying system files by patching the desktop windows manager. But in case something goes wrong, there's always system restore. All you need to do is run the script, restart and once again experience the beauty of pointed corners. Now I'm sure all of you are annoyed at Microsoft for making it too difficult to change the default browser mainly because they want you to use Edge. It's easier to change the default browser in Firefox with just a click of a button. But if you're a Chrome user, then you'll have to painstakingly make the changes yourself. But even if you succeed in the lengthy task of changing each file extension to Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge will still launch when opening certain links or opening Windows Help. Fear no more, cause there's an app called Edge Deflector that can handle Edge for good. Just set it once as your default browser and you'll never have to see Edge again, hopefully. A few bonus softwares that are worth trying and are pretty useful like Alt-Drag 
where you hold the key down and click anywhere on the window to drag it around, much like the feature in Linux. It doesn't support Windows 11 Snap, but it's got its own Snap animation, which is really not an animation. You can fix this using another tool called Sizer that can help with the positioning and resizing windows with a click of a button. It is a lot faster than dragging the window yourself. Finally, we have Power Tools, which if I didn't mention, this video wouldn't be complete. Power Toys has features that help in extending windows for power users. Some features include .svg previews, fancy zone which allow for partitioning your displays, and setting up custom layouts which is helpful for people with ultra-wide monitors, which is a faster way of searching for apps and files with a short hotkey that you set up. I've made a video on transforming Windows to Mac OS where I've shown how to set up the Spotlight feature. The link is down below. Many more tweaks are out there, but for this video, I've mentioned some of the good and most useful ones. Do you know any tweaks that I should have mentioned? Let me know down below. And that pretty much sums up this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend. And if you would like to see more content like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.